In the midst of the T-virus outbreak in Raccoon City, Leon Kennedy succeeded in escaping from the city following his encounter with one of the only, only other survivors, a woman named Ada, a spy seeking the deadly G-virus. However, Leon was not the sole survivor of the incident. A girl, a girl named Claire Redfield was in town on business of her own. She came to uncover the mysterious circumstances of her brother's dis disappearance. Chris Redfield, a member of the Star's Alpha Team. Only now her mission has become quite simple. Basic survival within the nightmare that was once Raccoon City. Stay out here. Head head to the police station. A lot safer. There. Buckle up. Okay. What's going on? I arrived in town, and the whole place went Great. insane. The radio's out. You're a cop, right? Yeah. First day on the job. Great, huh? Name's Leon Kennedy. Nice to meet you. Mine's Claire. Claire Redfield. I came to find my brother, Chris. Hey, could you open the glove box? Sure. There's a gun inside. Better take it with you.
Thank <laughs> you. 
on. It's good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not gonna find your brother here after all. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I thought you were another one of those zombies. Are you Chief Irons? Yes, that's me. And just who are you? No, don't bother telling me. It makes no difference. You'll end up just like all the others. That's the mayor's daughter. daughter. I was told to look after her. But I failed, miserably. 
Just look at her. She was a true beauty. Her skin nothing short of perfection. But it will soon putrefy and she will turn into a zombie within the hour like all the others. There must be some way to stop it. In a manner of speaking, speaking there is. Either by putting a bullet through her brain, or by decapitating her completely. And to think that taxidermy used to be my hobby. But no longer. Please, I'd really like to be alone now. Wait, let me go! Easy, easy there! I'm not a zombie! You're safe now. <laughs> My name's Claire. What's yours? Sherry. Do you know where your parents are? They both work at the Umbrella Chemical Plant, near the city limits. The Chemical pl Plant? Then... What are you doing here? My mom called and told me to go to the police station because it was too dangerous to stay at home. From the look of things, I'd say she was probably right. But it's dangerous here as well. You'd better come with me. But there's something out there. I don't know what it is, but I saw it. Much larger than any of those zombies. And it's coming after me. What was that? That's what I was telling you about! It's here! Sherry, wait! Chief?
Jerry, I've been looking everywhere for you. I was so worried. We've got to go now, honey, okay? If we stay here, stay here, that monster will find us. Let's go. No! I won't! What's the matter? <laughs> Don't you trust me? It's not that, Claire. It's because of my daddy. He's over there. I heard him call my name. Daddy must have been attacked by the monsters! I have to help him! Wait, Sherry! Don't go alone! Sherry! Sherry!
you there? Sherry, are you okay? Did you find your dad? Yes, I'm okay. But I couldn't find him. But I did find something else for you. Here! Here's another! Thanks, sweetie. Now why don't you come over here? I want you to stay with me. Claire! I can't reach the ventilation hole anymore! More. But don't worry, I'll find another way. I can take care of myself! Wait! Sherry, come back! Sherry! Sherry! Do you read me, Claire? We now have access to the back of the parking lot. Got it. I'm getting out of here and heading to the sewer. Can you meet me there? I'm on my way.